If you have a big impact, either into the ice sheet or into the ocean, that the, the impact vapor plume isn't going to go up just 58 kilometers because the height to which the plume rises is basically a function of the amount of heat that's injected. So the more heat mm -hmm. and water has a, a tremendously higher heat capacity than air, which makes sense. Right, right. It's going to eject enormous uh, volumes of material into the air. And in the case of an ocean, what you're saying then is that the water will go up as vapor and then it'll it'll be uh, carried by wind currents, presumably, can many hundreds, maybe even thousands of miles from the point of impact. And then the secondary, if, if there's actually, like in the ground, or if it penetrates the water column and strikes the bottom of the ocean, then there would be ejecta, uh, solid material that's ejecta, and that falling back to the earth could cause secondary fires, right? That's exactly and right. 